Wow, this is going to be a whole lot of to consume right now. I sat up there, I lost my virginity all the most. I sat up there, oh my God. I sat up there, I knew I shouldn't let her do all that. <sighs> Damn, this is going to be hard. This is going to be hard, bro. Very, very hard. Might have to think of something, man. She better get back with me. But let's hit this video. What's good, Vault Gang 111? Um, I'm your overseer. I'm your overseer with Soldier 3, as you already know. As you already know it is. So, um, I want to came, I want to come and have words with you guys. Because I sit up there, I want to tell my whole different types of experience. We have a lot to talk about, so we just going to get some stuff covered. Before we get started, I would like you guys to I would like you guys to thumbs up this thumbs up this video, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, subscribe to join the Vault Gang family and um, and um, hit the notification bell as you're here. Okay, let's get down to business. For the past few months, for the past few months, I have been going through like some trials and tribulations on the most side of everything else. I've been feeling through swinging different types of emotions and everything else. You know I'm that type of person, and you know that I'm the type of person that I sit up there and keep my head up. I even most out of negative situations, even most out of negative situations. So I want to sit up and talk about the things that I have gone through for the past, for the past I think I don't know, months or weeks or whatever. Okay, for a long while I've been sitting, for a long while I've been sitting through fighting through tribulations out of most. And I think I kind of opened my eyes to like new situations, especially especially when you sit up there and call and everybody everybody your damn friend out of most because nobody is is your damn friend in this earth. That's one thing I had to realize and know because everybody gonna sit up there and say they got your back, they got your back for at least one good moment, for at least one good moment. Then the next moment, the next moment they say, the next moment they ain't gonna sit up there and not call, not text, not. And I think that's a little bit cutthroat to me, so I'm just gonna sit up there and speak up upon this situation. Here's something I want to talk about. I'm a man. I sit up there and make all different types of mistakes in my life. I appear I appear to make all different types of mistakes in my life. And y'all can't sit up there and mark me off that. As you know me, I'm a very much I'm a very much charismatic type of person over most anybody and most influence. And most influence. I sit up there and smile upon all different types of negative situations and anything else, even though if if, if I'm wounded. Or not. Yeah, I've been, but yeah, all my life I've been sitting up there fighting over positive things. I've been basically going to war. I've been basically going to war with positive intentions in my head, but multiple, but multiple things have done clouded me and took and took some stuff out of me as well. Like I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit and talk about this one scenario that automatically opened my eyes on the most. There was, this, there was this one. There was this one glorious day. There was one glorious day. I sat up there. I walked. I sat up there. I was off. I was off out of most times, and I wanted to hang out with most people. Then one of the homies. Then one of the home. Then one of the um home girls sat up there and take me like you know, take you off working all out all of that. I was out. Well, we should probably hang out out of most. And in my mind, I was sitting up there. I was sitting up there thinking that. Okay, we could probably sit up there and hang out. No, I ain't gonna be around the bush off that. It was mostly, it, I'm not gonna be around the bush. I'm gonna be 100% true with y'all. It was an ex out of most. It was an ex out of most of who I had seen, who I had to, who I had ran to see out of most. So I sat up there, pulled up to the, so I sat up there, took the bus down, all the way down to, oh, mostly to the trenches out of most. A whole bunch of shit run through my damn head. Like, everything. Like, everything just ran out of head. Like, Get back together. What? I don't know what it is. Which is probably something a little bit more, but I'm just gonna try to stay ease away from. Just mostly majority different type of stuff. But I sat up there. I sat up there. And, um, I was sat up there thinking about replaying. I was sat up there replaying like thoughts roaming around in my dang head. I don't know. So I sat up there and got there. So I sat up there and got there. Found a place. We sat up there. We went to go. Went to go chill. I don't know. It's, and then something, and then something automatically that shouldn't have never happened, should have never happened until waited until we was confirmed that we was ready of doing something. I lost something, I lost something way more gracious upon that what I've carried for multiple sets of years. Mostly all my life altogether. 
And that one, and that one precious thing, I hold it precious uh, that's out there, I hold it precious to me that's long lost was my virginity. That's right, your boy not part of the V gang no more. After we sat up there and did the most, after we sat up there and did the dirty deed, well, I would call it like a demo, I would call it like a demo session because that's what she wanted me to get, she wanted me to get like, you know, a feel out of, out of the, um, sex life on a moment. And then after, and then after that, I didn't even know, I didn't even know if it was gone on the most, but I sat up there and was like, what happened? And then while, yeah, like, I was sort of like, why did this happen? I don't know. I, I know I was anxious to do out of most, but it was something that what I wanted. It was something about what I wanted out of most and everything. Decided and decided to have any other girl have it. I just decided to let her have it on the most because I sat up there and so called trust, so called trusted this woman. So as of so as of right now, I'm basically sexually active, but I haven't lost it. I think it's since a week out of most. I think a week out of most or something. And then after then after that incident, things start to get a little hazy because it was like we start i mean we started talking i was checking on i was I always checking up on her out of most to see how she feel out of most or whatever and then, and then i don't know and then i don't know what out of happened out of most and now things is so now i know things is just started to get a little bit more hectic and that and that out of most i sat up there i thought i sat up there and thought i could sit up there and trust trust that person trust that person with something that is very precious out of because nothing because nobody wants to sit up there and care out of nothing about what you do the whole precious and nobody wouldn't even care about anything that's precious to you out of anything and now i'm sitting up here stressing out of my head you now i'm here stressing out of my head out of all the trials and tribulations that i've been going through out of most to be honest, to be honest, how I think about how I think about her feelings, how I think about her feelings was for me. I would have to say that I really, I really don't think that she. I really don't think that she don't even mess with me like that out of most, because after what I sat up there and did out of most, like I did, like I sat up there and I said that I um. I sat up there, I, um, cheated out of most. Now, I know what y'all thinking. I didn't do a sexual encounter with anybody else. The only sexual encounter I did was with, was with the, um, ex I'm talking about. And now, I'm sitting up here how I feel out of most. And that's what I sit up there and think about. That's what I sit up there and think about. Because people don't, people don't, people don't, people would sit up there and say, and while I was sitting up there thinking about that tribulation out of most, it, it really sat up there and got me thinking. It really sat up there and got me thinking out of most. Like, should I sit up there and just be cold hearted? Should I sit up there and just be cold hearted out of anybody that sat up there, out of anybody sat up there say say that they care about anything else? And then I sat up there and stopped myself like, maybe that's, maybe that's how to, no, that's just how the world works out of most because nobody wants to sit up there and give two two sh two shits about you out of most. But I don't know that if it's not in my character, I don't know if it's not in my character because me, I'm more like I can help you out of most and be there for you out of anything because I sat up there, I built this woman out of most. I'm not saying that she should sit up there and worship me and kiss my ass out of most. I don't expect that at all. It just don't. It just don't make sense. It just don't make sense how the people, how people act, how people act like two faces out of most. Then over the past thing, I sat up there. I confessed it. I sat up there. I confessed it for my, for my downfalls of what I did in the relationship and everything else. And I think she doesn't give two shits about that so i'm really thinking about questioning i'm really thinking about questioning myself near 2019 because 2019 is going to be like it's going to be like a new year out of everything else 
And I'm, and I'm going to sit up there and start and get up on my shit out of most. Because when 2000, because when 2019 hit, I got to get, I got to sit up there and get my snowball together. Because right now, I ain't got my snowball shit. And it really started thinking about questioning my personal self. Like, on one hand, like, on one hand, I'm sitting up there thinking, like, maybe I should sit up there and stay that nice person who smiles out of most stuff. Who smiles out of most stuff. And then I have an other hand that say, just go savage. Don't give two fucks about nobody else out of overall. Because nobody wants to sit up there and mess with you out of all. Not you won't even get a phone call the most out of anybody else. Because right now, how I feel and it's getting the um, tribulation out of most, nobody don't care. Nobody don't actually care about what you're trying to build. Nobody what you're trying to build or what you're trying to do or whatever associations you may have. It just really don't make sense to me. And it really irks me to just black out like that. And I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that, but I think it's something that in my mind I'm leaning towards. I'm leaning towards this side of the most. Like, like 2019 hit, don't give a fuck about nobody else. Be that savage on the most. Because nobody wants to sit up there and care about you as you're smiling out of most. They will sit up there and smile at your face and still splat you inside your face out of overall. But I think that's just sit up there how the world works out. But I'm not going to raise my blood pressure just talk. I'm not going to sit up there and raise my heart rate out of most or whatever. Because I hope something gets to y'all and I hope I try to explain the best way I can. Because I don't think nobody would understand about how I try to say it. But it's whatever. Whatever. All right, y'all, I'm done. All right, y'all, I'm done. I'm going to sit up there and just, just, just talk about this, and my brain going to sit up there. Oh, make sure if y'all like the video, make sure y'all splat that like button. Subscribe. Subscribe and join the Rock Gang family. Hit the notification bell as you're here. And, oh, this is going to be my new remote. This is going to be, I think this is going to be my new remote because when I do, like, these type of videos, I'm going to start doing more of these videos. I'm gonna start doing more like these videos if I can because I'm trying to get more because I'm trying to gain more experience about what I've seen and I'm trying to elaborate what I've seen with y'all. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna see y'all and I see y'all. Um news news I gotta tell y'all something. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's coming out on the most. Um like one like one that I'm working on this I'm working on this, I'm working on this new track. I'm working on this new track, it's called Carnage. It's called Carnage. I'm gonna tell up there, it's gonna be about me releasing how I feel, how I feel about anything, most anybody else, and I ain't blacking nobody else. But anyway, but anyway, make sure y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and share things. And plus, and plus, I sat up there and got new merch. See? This one's from, this is the uh, Fallout 76, officially. So basically, so basically I have two wallets. This one's, this one's from, uh, because t I'm a very much of a vault Tech person. I love vault Tech out of most. But anyways, I love you guys when I see y'all and I see y'all. Until next time, ladies. <laughs>